I applied for this commission because um, I'm a massive fan of working with heritage and um, kind of working with history. So my project is based around making and foraging pigments from the natural landscape. I envisage that this project is going to be based a lot around drawing initially. My commission's focusing on um, people from the 20th century who weren't permanent residents of Elsica. And you, you know, having walked around this museum as a child, there's no way I'd ever have you know, even considered my work being shown here. So for this one, um, I asked Paul to, to come and, and sit for me and I did a quick sketch. Our like composition is going to be centred around like Elsica. I think there's something really interesting when artists work with heritage sites because they kind of um, interpret the stories of objects and collections in unusual ways, which are a really a great way for uh, building audiences and engaging with, uh, with new audiences. A lot of the stuff that I do really appeals to families and family-based audiences and kids. Um, so that's just a really good way in to uh, you know, get kids interested in, in heritage. Heritage centres and artists, like, it's so important to come together because like, without collaboration, like, the artist can't grow, the heritage centre can't like, expand as well. And it's just about as well, like, not only reaching the audience that you have now, but also reaching like, maybe a new audience that the, uh, that the artist may be a part of. So it's all those types of things, I think. I just think it's really important to be able to use the natural resources um, that you can find locally um, and that we're not having to buy material from um, hundreds of miles away when it's something you can literally use on your doorstep. I think it's really important um, to be able to include part of that landscape within my own artwork. Um, and I think as a local artist, being able to come to such a lovely site as Cannon Hall and forage and grow from, from this landscape um, is just a really special addition um, to my artwork. So it's kind of, it's going to be a, a painting that's been funded by Barnsley and done by someone from Barnsley, you know. So I, I guess, I, I imagine that's fairly unusual. Uh, so it means a lot in that context, yeah. The vision so far is like, create like four original parts of music, um, make sure they sound incredible, <laughs> of course. And then um, after that, like um, mix, mix them, make sure they sound incredible and, um, and pretty much like release them and give them to the heritage site as well. Um, and I'll be composing um, some music, mainly for violin, which I will, I will mix in with that. Um, I've already been to a school who have, um, the kids there have provided some sounds for me with some instruments that will also be added into the mix. Um, and when it's all put together, um, the, the different soundscapes will be uh, attached will be geolocated to different locations around the village so that they form a sound walk. So I think history and heritage are very important to kind of be be kind of revived and told to the next generation um, and I think the fact that I'm kind of creating something that maybe will um, it will appeal to the, the the older generations but also the younger generations and I'm really excited for the, the younger generation and the older generation to share this love of the heritage and to come here for a sort of collective reason. Well, I mean, when the opportunity came up to make something for like a local museum, uh, especially something that was going to be in a permanent collection in that museum, that was great. I find like the whole of my practice seems to be quite London centric. Um, so, so something like in the local area in Yorkshire, uh, in the galleries around where I live, was, was a really exciting prospect. So there's a lot of great artists in Barnsley. Um, so to be counted as, as one among that have been chosen, it's, you know, it's, it's a real pat on the back, you know, and hopefully it, it shows that Barnsley is not, um, that, that Barnsley should be taken seriously, you know, as, as an artistic community. Well, I guess this commission it gives me an opportunity to engage with the collection at EB again. So this is going to allow me to explore, um, explore the collections uh, and bring the stories hidden and kind of, uh, magical and kind of invented stories that, that are kind of imagined around the, the objects uh, to life. This project really excites me because to start with um, it's going to allow me to continue to be a freelance um, artist. I've, I've just in the past couple of years made this my full-time job um, so this will be really really great to continue to yeah pay my bills off of art um, and then equally yeah it excites me because I get to kind of work in an area that I'm genuinely passionate about. Um, I care a lot about history and heritage and um, it's just a lot of fun. 
Uh, so, so for me personally, it's, it's giving me that drive to get going again. And that's what I've, I've suffered from lack of motivation through pandemic. So for me, it's it's certainly a reason to get up and get in studio and, and crack on. You know, it's, it's, it's something I'm really enjoying and um, it's nice to have something to do. <laughs> Oh, it's massively important to us. Like, you know, we're like I'm from Chap, and like Ruby's been doing stuff in Elsica for years, and um, and you know we've we we've, we've got family around here too. So it makes sense that we actually like work somewhere that like um, means a lot to us. So it's just great that like we get to start that journey here. It's been a great opportunity to create work that is in response to a concept, you know, and, and require a bit of research and development. This commission means a lot to me because it's um, it's allowing me to uh, explore my Barji traveller heritage more um, and learn a little bit more about what life was like travelling up and down the canal. Um, it's also allowing me to record outside, which is where I love to be, um, in the woods like I am today, or um, down the side of the canal recording the water. So yeah, just love it. The commission's given me the opportunity um, to really focus on one aspect of my work um, it's becoming increasingly important to be able to, to use natural materials from my surroundings um, so the project has just given me the time um, and resources to really focus on that um, and I think the skills that I've learnt from um, the project will they'll just ripple out um, through the rest of my practice for years to come.